Hello there and welcome back to my video. In this video I will show how you can set up a MongoDB database in Docker. And let's go ahead. It's uh, not so uh, hard as it sounds. I will be uh, setting up a Mongo database uh, 4.0. You can use the version you want. And then I setting the, the username and the password. And of course I will mount the, the data uh, volume so if something is crashed or you want to share it and something like that then you have your data you don't worry about it. it's going uh, disappear if you want to upgrade to a newer version so let's starting first we define the version at the moment it's a uh, 3.7 for the docker compose file and then we want the service we will setting up the mongo the image you want to use it should be mongo uh, 4.0 and then we want the environment variables and I want to say mongo init db root username and then we copy this line and we say password and I have a default here I always use when I testing out you can change the password as you want and then we need to say the volumes and uh, my database db data should be the same as the data db in the container if you have uh, other mongos installed on your system I will prepare uh, I recommend you to use uh, other ports when I'm development um, I use the port 20, 28,070 uh, and then I'm pointed into the original port in Mongo so to confirm this is working I will go in here to say docker compose and I'll spin it up and see what happening everything looks as it should or something is going wrong yes something is going wrong so let's see what happening here it's good the error you see here on the screen is something with the mount I cannot explain exactly what's happening but I know if we're going inside here and coming this out and I'm working on Windows right now I have not seen that on the Mac or on the Linux before so it's probably something I don't understand here so what I'm doing now is just coming this out and spin it up so we just ignore this folder let's remove it to be sure it's not have any kind of impact so let's say uh, dark compose up and everything should be pretty well so you can see now it's running but we don't have the data container so it depends on what operation system you run uh, something could be wrong here and I don't know really what's happening because it's always working it should be so let's test the connection and open my uh, mongo uh, client I use uh, robot g3 so that as a client so let's add it and say create new connection we say I hope you can see that we say docker mongo and should be a local host and we change the port number here and then we need to authenticate here and the database should be element you can change this if you create other uh, administrator database on the same mongo and then we copy it inside here and then secret and this is the right one you can pick what you want but this is the right one and see the password here secret and save it and going down to say connect and we have something wrong here perfect every time I need to show something it's always going wrong uh, authenticate here and secret and let's try with the the local host here No, it's still not working so let's go in and see what's happening 
So the arrow you you see it's uh, it, it's okay. You can see it's up. And if I'm connecting one more time here to demonstrate because I'm thinking what's going on here. I have typed everything down. I have in my my document I use when I'm recording. And when you're going inside here, say yeah, you have an error. And first I think it's a client. Then I can see before my client is 3.6, so I upgrade my my client here. It's uh, because I've seen that before. And then. I think what's going on and I double check my environment and then I can see I'm missing a T here so that's why it doesn't work so let's go in back and say kill the instance and say down and recreate everything and say up again and let's try this time to connect and now we are connected and you can see what happened here and we can say create a collection here. We say test collection. And we're going inside. And I'll say insert one new. I hope you can see it. I know it will be a very small because I cannot uh, make this font size bigger here. So I'm sorry. So we say test is equal to hello world. And you can update it here you can see everything here is fine so it's working now so thank you for watching this video i really hope you enjoy and i hope you want to watch more from me and i hope you want to subscribe you can if you don't want, know how you can subscribe you can go in the right corner below and press on the thing and i hope you give it a like and share it with your friends and if you have any questions please make them in the comments fields below you can always find uh, the composer file on my github, I will link it in the, the description below. Thank you so much for following me and I hope you want to subscribe and thank you and see you next time.